obviously mums usually start crying when they see their door in a wedding dress my mum kept saying to me I don't know why I can't cry when your sister tried on dresses I started crying but with you I can't cry <laughs> he tells people that on that day when he was walking out he told his friend I was with him mate that's the girl that I'm gonna marry I don't like that you do this hey I'm Yalchin and you're watching Brides and Coffee today I'm being joined by the beautiful Zainab we're here in her house on her couch her husband is just off camera He's here to make sure that we do not go off topic too much. Yeah. <laughs> the show revolves around planning, the wedding and marriage in general. Make sure that you like and you subscribe so that you can see more videos like this in the future. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. So when you think back to your wedding, mm -hmm. is there anything that pops into your head that you think, you know, I wish I'd done this or I hadn't done this? Um, I think... I feel like I'm a really organised person in like in a general sense. Everything in my life, in my home, in my work. But then when it came to my wedding, I feel like I freestyled it a little bit. I don't know why, but I just feel like I feel like I'm a really lucky person. So I feel like if I think about good things and I put out good energy, it's gonna come back to me. So I didn't plan everything like how I usually would everything in my life. So I just let it go, kind of go with the flow, and I think that kind of messed up a little bit with like planning and timing for like. Up. For like going to the hairdresser at a certain time and getting ready oh, yeah, for a certain time. yeah, we're going to talk about time. this hairdresser, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, we'll get back to that later. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got some but, on that. Yeah, so I think with the timing, I just feel like I, w I wish I was a bit better at timing this and like the distance between places. Like in my head, I just feel like I could get from one place to another place like, like that, that. That happens a lot. Yeah. With brides. They I remember just are, oh, you no. told me. I said to you, like, what the, some brides, that we've got one, you know who you are, okay? So her, where she's getting ready is in central London. Yeah. And the place she's chosen to take her photos mm -hmm. is in Kent. But in her mind, <laughs> she's like, that oh, would be fine. It's just like, what, an hour and a half, two hours? So, on, a, on a Saturday, and plus you have to make it back. It's not yeah. just two hours one way. It's two hours back. back. So that's four hours. Yeah. And I think that's where we go wrong with brides. Like, you said the exact same thing to me. Because it was like, we took pictures in Central, then come back, to obviously go to the wed wedding venue from our house and all of that stuff. In my head, I'm just like, oh, it's just half an hour between them. And then we got to the um, to hotel to take pictures, which is the most important part. And you're like to me, you know, realistically, we only have like this amount of time. I'm like, well, like, shit, like, we're going to take that many pictures. And it flies, like doesn't it? Oh my God, like just by the time I'm like in my dress and you've taken like bits and bobs, like it's like one hour left, it's like we're counting down to the wedding. I'm getting messages from like my sisters at the wedding, my cousins, like when are you guys coming? And then we got there quite late as well, actually. A lot of people waited for us. We waited for you as well, to be fair. I was gonna, I was actually gonna pick a bone with you about that. <laughs> the only reason we're there is because of you. I know. <laughs> but I'm, we even got to the wedding. You're getting married in which hall? Go on. Caravan. Okay, and does caravan have parking anywhere near it? No, it doesn't. No, that's the okay. biggest problem. So the caravan, which is in North London, the venue is in such a spot that it probably has, what, 50 car parking spaces inside or something like yeah. that? Yeah. And then the streets next to it, the, the council it has decided... It's all residential, yeah. 9.30. They <gasps> okay. enter at 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's nowhere to park. Surely there should be a spot like just for the photographer and then also the wedding car as well. I think they need to bring if that. Caravan's out. listening. <laughs> I think that should be their next thing because I think that. Can we like... have a chub on parking spot? <laughs> <laughs> just with your name on it as well, not other photographers. <laughs> yeah, just uh, right in front of it, please. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, I think that was the main thing. It was just the timing of everything. It's just in your head. I just feel like it's gonna work out. How would out. you have changed it now? Now that you've had some time to think about, it, how would you go back and just change? actually just think about it and just be a bit more realistic, like instead of just like thinking everything just all like <laughs> flowers and fairies. Okay. That's where I'm so living. Let's work this out. Your hairdresser was where? Um, Southgate. I think, yeah. No, was it? Elena what, hair. Where's Elena hair? I'm not sure. We can maybe behind the scenes fact check on that one. Can we get a fact checker on this, please? <laughs> um, I actually don't know. Um, and then we had to come back home to do the bringing the bride out the house. And then in which my head, in Hackney. I, which is in Hackney. And then back to Central for the um, hotel. And then back to. And then to... back to North London. So, yeah, there's a, lots of going back and forth. I know some brides like to do, like, or on separate days, like, I don't know. Can please. I ask a question? Yeah. Why did you not get ready at the hotel then? Yes. I th maybe somebody, somebody had just, like... You know what? No one suggested it Maybe somebody to told you that Elena, which is yeah. your hairdresser, yeah. could just come to the head. I know, the she could have. But I, I don't know. I just feel like if it was in a hotel room, I get really anxious. I just, I would have felt like there's more focus on, like... 
It's your wedding. I don't know. I just get a bit weird like that. I just thought that if it's in a hairdresser, yeah. I'm not going to like, if my mum's getting ready in that corner, I'm just not really going to focus on her. Okay. And then my sister's there. Because I remember for my sister's one, for example, we went with like, we were 15 people in the hairdresser and just everyone was saying this and that. And it's just like builds that anxiety. I was just like, I just want to be in a bigger space. And then everyone's doing their own little thing. So I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's all me. Okay. Um, so where's my shoes? Like, you owe me a Yeah, your shoes, shoes are in the cabinet. <laughs> You owe me. She owes me a pair of shoes. I don't Mehmet. owe you know you about shoes. These shoes. If you, anything, Mehmet owes you shoes. <laughs> listen, you guy. Okay, so you can gift it to your wife. <laughs> we had a bet. Yes, we did. On the wedding morning, oh, because you didn't bring your wedding dress to yeah, the I hairdresser. Yeah, I wanted to surprise you. I wanted to surprise. I'm not the groom. The groom is <laughs> over there. Who are you trying to surprise? Okay, oh. so you came to the hairdresser with no dress. Yes, I did. Obviously, she was dressed, but like the wedding dress. Yeah. Okay. Um, you then. So I had no dress to shoot there. Yeah, you had you... shoes. <laughs> and I said to you, look, I'm going to call your mother-in-law. Yeah. And I'm going to say that she didn't bring her dress yeah. with her. And she's going to tell you off. Yeah. And you said, no, she'll choose me, not you. I said and she the would choose was... me over anything. That's what I said as well. Okay. And I said to you, oh, yeah, she said, yeah, she, she said, she'll choose me, being her, over anything. Even her own son. <laughs> Even her own son. And I said, oh, we'll see. And then I phoned her, and the bet was the 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 Jimmy the Jimmies you had, yeah. right? The Jimmy Chews. I don't know how many Jimmy Chews we've sold because of them putting pictures up on our in social, but um, because of the Jimmies. Yeah. And then you called her up, and what did she say? Now, I'll let you explain this part. To my disappointment, <laughs> I was I think, I think that was the most heartbroken I've ever been in my life. <laughs> I don't think Mehmet could make me that upset because I just know that Emish Tazer, who's Mehmet's mom, loves me so much. And obviously I love her and I just really thought that she'll be on my side. But I think it was because the way you phrased it, <laughs> I think it's all you. <laughs> if we had it on recording, I think she was like she would say she would have supported me. But she actually had like a mini go at me, basically saying, "Why didn't you bring your dress? What's what's your chung in a film and stuff like that?" And then I think it was a misunderstanding because she called me back apologising. So I think she's still on my side. Um, so we, I give you one pair, I keep the other pair, and then we could just okay, call we're it We're gonna even. be like Cinderella, right? I'll have a left pair, you yeah, have the right pair, we'll just and call then Mehmet needs to find us. We'll call it even like that. <laughs> Yeah, we'll okay, leave so that. <laughs> we'll leave it there. So that basically, I'm not getting the shoes. Yeah, but no. she did bake. She did bake a cake for us, though. So. Okay, I did. Yeah. All right. So we'll leave it there. You decided that you wanted to have the traditional coming out the house part. Yeah. Which you didn't wear your wedding dress for either. No, I didn't because I just wanted to be a surprise. You know, <laughs> leading up to the big wedding entrance. Also, I didn't want it to get dirty. Like there's no, like, no. come on, like there's dirt on the floor. There's mud and grass around the house, and um, in front of the house. So I didn't want to wear it then. Um, but actually, we mentioning that when I came out the house and people saw me in my just simple dress, like even my own like aunties and uncles were saying, "Is that what she's wearing to the wedding?" Like she's just walked out in a gown. No, she just she just wore like a white simple dress. I'm probably thinking I'm sure she's worn this dress like the other day for her for her registry. So I did get a few like raised eyebrows for that, but I don't regret it because I feel like if you're then, that auntie. If you're that auntie, <laughs> if you're that auntie. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But um, yeah, so then I just wanted it to be at the wedding hall when I make the entrance. That's when people see the dress. How come did you decide to have the coming out of the house? In all honesty, it wasn't me. Like, I would have probably still wanted it. Um, but like, I wasn't like, oh, it has to 100% happen. I know some females, like, the brides really want it. It was more for Mehmet's mum. She really wanted it. Oh, it was your mum? And yeah, she really, really wanted it. And um, Bless her, she, she, she didn't get involved with the wedding or anything like that. So it was all me and Mehmet's way. And that was the one thing that she really wanted. Okay. And obviously I wanted one too, but maybe I would have done it on the registry day or like another event or something. She really wanted it, so we still done it. Um, Did it get emotional at all? Oh my God, I got so emotional. Oh, to this day, you know, when you, after you sent the video to us, like since we had the video, we've watched it obviously so many times of like different people, like having different viewings. Every single time, like that part when, I'm, especially it's at that point when I'm hugging my dad, and I can't watch it now. Even now, I still start crying when I see that moment. Um, so there's that part in the, yeah, it was very emotional. And I remember my veil got all like, had makeup all over it. And then you saved it in the hotel with, you know, your magic. Um, the steamer. The magic yeah, the steamer. steamer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wiping it. That's, that a, that's actually a tip for someone is you have to be careful with the type of steamer you have. Because I've seen people which have got a steamer that's got a metal front. Yeah. They touch. Right. They touch their veil and it just basically burns it. Oh my god! That's so you have to be thing. careful when you're using a steamer to not really go out 
and then you put something underneath it and you just yeah, steam so it. Yeah, so you literally saved it. But yeah, that was very, very emotional for me. What was oh the part God. that made it emotional? I think it was just my dad, like just because he, he came and hugged me. And my dad, um, like he's, he doesn't really show his emotion. Obviously, he's got emotion. I know he loves me, but like he wouldn't ever say that. But then you just know it. So in that moment when he just came over and he just gave me the look and then I just, oh, I'm going to get emotional now as well. He had that same moment in our... Um, in our engagement at home, you know that moment when they um, snipped the ribbon. There's literally a video just straight on, just recording my dad. And as soon as they cut that ribbon, he he went a bit emotional. He he hid behind Mehmet's dad in the video because he didn't want anyone to see that he was getting emotional. So I think it was that for me. So I'd never seen him like ever emotional like growing up. Um, so that was the point. And even at my um, like kind of for example, um, like they're singing all these songs about like my mom, you know, like the Turkish typical ones. But as soon as they started with like. A lyric to do with a dad, I just started crying straight away. Like, so you're a daddy's girl, man. yeah, I think I think so. But even though he's like very cold, like on the outside, I think I still kind of forced that. But yeah, I think that was what made it so emotional because I've never seen him like that. That's and cool. so, would you recommend somebody have like that on their day? I think because so. you said you didn't want it, right? yeah, but you wouldn't have, it wasn't your idea. But now... I'm glad that we did it because I think in that moment it's just really nice, like the whole like idea behind it. So sometimes people do it like on a different day, and I think it kind of loses the like, obviously back in the day it was because like the females going to another area in Turkey, which we're not having that, we're moving down the road, not down the road actually. To be fair, oh, we'll talk about that in a bit. Wait, yeah, wait, wait, we've got a story about that <laughs> it's, as well. It's not down the road per se, but it's like we're not going that far, but. I think it's still that kind of value of it is really nice that you're like leaving the home now and I remember they said to me like don't look back at the house and I didn't know if it was like when I come out you know when you're dancing in front am I like not meant to look at the door at all like so I completely avoided looking at the door whatsoever just in case like one day I return to my dad's house you know <laughs> but I didn't With know the that bags in hand. honestly they were because literally as I was getting out my mom whispered in my ear saying like I don't look back saying anything. I was like, oh my God, um, okay, like, do I not look back at all? Like, I didn't even answer her. I didn't even turn around to say, okay, there are like, some cultural want to things in Turkey, which is like, you know, they throw water behind someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so I do recommend that. I think if you can do it and you've got the space and like the, I didn't really have the time to do it like on the day, but we had the space in front of the house. And if it's like something that you like, like, and you've got a lot of family, I think it does make it a bit meaningful, especially because I grew up in that house as well. So who held the door for you? For um, it was my. Um, cousin's son, my cousin's youngest son, and it was so cute. I don't know if there's a video of there must be in the video, right? Um, he can't really speak um, a lot of Turkish because obviously growing up um, speaking English, and he was just like we had to teach him like to say like um, more, yeah, paraver, paraver, so that he can say it. So oh, he's really cute. So he was really excited as well to do that. So that he was him that held, held the door. So you've just left the house, mm -hmm. you go outside, and now we start dancing. Yeah. And and <laughs> It's, it's like an emotional part where it's like crying, oh my God, my dad, and these honestly, feelings, and the outside, honestly, the drums are going, and the Meme is the, the smile door. starts like over here, and it's like. Honestly, as soon as I walked out the door and you hear the drums, I think it's just in our genes, or you just automatically start dancing. So yeah, we just I think it's built into it. It's, it goes and through like, the vein. Two minutes ago, like you said, I was crying, and then the next second, I'm just like dancing. So at least it's like a switch like that straight away. That, those drums get us going, I think. The drums, the second, and then your mother in law's dancing, yeah, your husband's yeah, dancing, yeah, yeah. you're dancing. Okay, then we head over to which hotel did you? Um, Four Seasons Hotel. Okay, and we're taking photos. Yeah, taking photos there now. That's where I see your wedding dress. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about your dress. Um, my dress, I bought it from here. Um, can, can we say names? Yeah, of course you can. You um, can say whatever you want. From Angelica Bridal, and actually that was like the second dress that I tried on. And then, so the first dress I tried on, I liked it, but this dress I, tr I tried on. Then I tried a few more. Um, even with wedding dress hunting, I didn't actually go to that many places. I went to two places. So I went so there. For someone who likes the plan. Yeah. Just Honestly, this is what I mean. With the wedding, I was just like, oh, it's going to work out. Like, come on, it's Zainab and Mehmet. It's going to work out. We're in love. Like, that's literally what was going in my head Zainab all and the Mehmet time. Kissing in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally what I thought. So then that was the second one I tried on. Then I tried a few more. Then I went to another wedding shop. And then um, that was, I forgot the name now, whichever one. So we, I tried like a few more there. And then. Um, I just went home and I just kept looking at pictures of the one that I bought, obviously. I just kept looking, I just kept imagining myself. I was like, oh my God, like, I have to try this one. Like, I have to, it has to be this. And then I went back the next day, literally, like begged them on the phone because the appointments were really tight. I was like, please, I think it's going to be like a half an hour appointment. Like, I was like, I'm so sure that I'm going to get this. I tried it on again for the second time. And as soon as I did, I was like, oh, it has to be this. Come on, like, I didn't even look anywhere else. How did you know that was the one? I just, 
I just felt like a princess in it, if I'm just being honest. Like, I just, I just felt like I looked really nice. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. I just felt like I just looked comfortable with like, myself, the way I looked. Um, it was basically what I wanted. So I was oh, literally... Is there, what brand is it? Um, Mariana Lina. Mariana Lina? From... The name is here somewhere. Yeah, somewhere here. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere here, the name. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, I think that was what it was called. But you got it from Angelica Pondo. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And what was the actual experience of like, of trying the dress and then going there and did you go with anyone? Um, so on the first day it was my mum and then Mehmet's mum. Um, so it was just us, um, us three literally. And plus it was because of COVID as well, like they were really strict, they didn't want anyone there. Obviously I would have liked my sisters to be there, my sister-in-law, my best friend, like they didn't get to kind of have that experience, you know, like I've always imagined like it's this whole show when everyone's sitting out, you come out and they give you thumbs up, thumbs down, like the whole um, that should actually be a show, you know, we should start yeah. there. Because bride, <laughs> yay, yay. Yeah, literally, yeah. I had that imagination in my head, but I didn't get to live that, but it was still nice, uh, my mother-in-law and my mum there. Uh, my mum was quite funny actually on the day, like whatever dress I tried on, she was like, I just, obviously mums usually start crying when they see their daughter in a wedding dress. My mum kept saying to me, I don't know why I can't cry. When your sister tried on dresses, I started crying, but with you, I can't cry. <laughs> So I'm oh, sorry, mum. Your but sister got all the emotion, and yeah, you just got the. Because for my mum, it was her second daughter getting married, so she had gone through this process already. So I feel like for my sister, it was a bit more like high emotion for her. In comparison to me, she's like, I don't know why I'm not crying. Like, she's your honestly not, saying it to me. Did the mum not cry? She got emotional. She actually did. I don't know if she actually cried because I, I was going in and out the rooms, and I wasn't really focused on them too much. Like, I was just. Mother-in-law, like, did you cry? Yeah, let's leave, let's, leave ask, us, let's leave call us, her leave after. Us, <laughs> Leave us a comment down below. Did you cry, mother? I don't know if she cried for me, but when she saw um, her son in her suit, that's when she did cry, didn't she, for that? <laughs> she, your mum cried when she saw you in the suit. Yes, mum. So yeah, um, yeah. So it was it was still a nice experience. Okay. And um, yeah, so it was just them two. And... You we've now gone to the hotel. We're taking photos in the hotel. What was that experience like? That was. Um, that was really nice as well, actually, because we had Mehmet's best man and then um, his girlfriend. Um, and she's, she's, she, was, she was really, like, helpful with me. So I felt like I was really calm. I didn't want to have too many people there in my face. Um, so that was a really nice experience. And I think by that point, that was the fifth time that me and Mehmet have done a photo shoot. If, you t if, if we think back to our proposal photo shoot, it was so awkward with each other. Like, I didn't even know, like, how to, like, stand next to him. Um, but by the wedding, though, we were so comfortable with you guys as well. Um, and he hadn't seen the dress before. And he hadn't seen the dress, yeah. And then we did your first meet. Yeah, we did our first meet. Well, tell me about that experience. <laughs> that was like, you know, when you're like expecting something like, like there, your emotions are right there. And then it goes right down like that. Because Mehmet, <laughs> he's not really good with words. He's really good with numbers. Let me... <laughs> he's an accountant. Isn't yeah, he? so he's really good with his numbers, but he's not that great with his words. <laughs> so, um, what did he say? So, obviously, in my head, I'm just like, you know, you see those videos when like the group the starts crying, crying. Yeah, yeah. like they start crying, they're, they're throwing themselves on the floor, whatever. I just thought that I would get some sort of like a raw reaction from Mehmet, like just to take him back a little bit, like admiring me. But no, none of that. So, Mehmet just, as soon as he turned around, he's like, oh, you look nice. That's what he said. I was like, are you serious? <laughs> Mehmet. That's our first look. And then we had to do that first look a couple of times to actually get the it's right shot and stuff. Yeah. And I'm just like, at that point, I was just like, oh my God, Mehmet, like, I'm so you know annoyed you with you right now. I know now. what your mistake is. What is it? As he turned around, you should have told him how much the wedding's going to cost. Yeah, and then he's like, <gasps> And he would have started crying, right? He's an accountant. That's Numbers. when he would have, yeah, exactly. you know what? I should have wanted to not, yeah, that, you know you So you're for right. any ladies, if you want to get a reaction from your guy. Talk about numbers. Just talk about how much that event, the total cost has cost. So if you turn yeah. around and go, 50 grand, he's like, <gasps> Then he's, yeah, he's exactly. Off, right, off so on one. that was a bit of a, and then um, something I have this thing where, like, when I get a little, like, even just like slightly upset, it takes me a while to recover. But on that day, obviously, it's, it's, we're taking pictures. We had to recover from that straight away. So we, then we went down the stairs and we were dancing. Down. So you were like to us, dance, guys, dance. I was like, there's no music. I was kind of annoyed at that point. And I was like, okay. And I was like, Mehmet's like, it's fine, let's just dance. And then as soon as we started dancing, it was, it was, I, was, I, was I explained to him straight away that I was upset because of this. Then he was like, he explained to me straight away that, like, Zainab, the music you know, it's is emotion. Inside, yeah, it's inside Zainab. of us. The music is inside. Yeah, we had to kind of reach that. And then Mehmet just explained that he's obviously feeling anxious as well on the day. So he's like, I'm sorry if, like, I didn't give the reaction you wanted, but... I you warned you as well. I said, Mehmet, give a pro... That's the reaction you got after me talking to him about it. Yeah, like so I wonder minutes. if you never spoke to him and just be like, all right? He's like, you all hey, right, yeah? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> what's up? Yeah, because we're, like, friends, aren't we? So that's literally what he said. Is there anything from the actual wedding? Yeah. The, the actual wedding party that you remember that sticks in your mind? Um, 
oh, yeah. Mehmet just reminded me actually. Our first dance, um, our first dance was, it just lasted quite a while as well actually. It was like, Mehmet was, at one point was like, come on guys, let's cut this music out. But during that first dance, again, you want that romantic moment where you're making eye contact and it's like. Is that what, what you thought it was? That's what I thought. Watching I from was, the outside. Yeah, 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 I thought I was going to get, no, I thought with Mehmet I'm going to get that eye contact. But this guy's eyes were just wandering around the whole hall. At one point I looked at him like, during the first dance, I was like, like, Mehmet, what are you looking at? Like, honestly, I was just, you know, you're trying to smile it through as well, so you can't read my lips Mehmet. and my anger. Mehmet. And He's, he was literally like, I'm just trying to see like who came and who didn't know where my friends are at. That's literally what he was thinking in that moment, instead of just like enjoying the moment. And you're um, trying to have like a romantic... I'm trying to have that romantic eye contact and the smile and the whatever for the pictures and for the like, whatever for me. But he was more busy just seeing like, who's here, who's not, where's my friends, where are they? Now that's what he... <laughs> you're going to pay for that, mate. You are so gonna I'm pay so for that. I'm so nice to him because I feel like other people would have gotten onto him. I was like, you know what, it's fine. Like, he's so, you're so gonna pay for that. Yeah. He, he know he's not. Sometime in the future, I'm, I'm writing all of this down. There's, there's okay. a whole list now. So. Wow, wow, she started. I'm joking. I think my wife's got like a folder. <laughs> <laughs> she's got like she's got she's got oh. an extra room for all the stuff yeah, that she just wants to get. Specifically me. for that. But yeah, so that was I think that was one of the one of the things that stood out to us. Um, another thing was that. Um, so we went, me and Mama went to uni, university together and um, he met a lot of friends from his course. So doing business course, you have like all international students. And then at the wedding, it was like a reunion for Mama and us for like all our university friends that like we had people from, well, um, one of his friends from Japan come, uh, from Azerbaijan, from Poland. France, Italy, like all you of those had, people. So you it's had like the inter a, intercontinental. Yeah, wedding. honestly, like so, it was really nice like having that reunion with all those people as well. And it kind of took us back to like obviously because we met at university as well. So it was kind of like nice to be in that environment again with everyone. And I actually really enjoyed our wedding. Um, bearing in mind that it was quite short because we got there quite late, and then by the time, like honestly, it's, when wedding you say is like, late, you came at seven. Yeah, but people it's were saying to me that's late. My mum said to me that they were waiting outside dancing for like half an hour before we came. Your mum was ready from the day before. Yeah, I think, I think my mum was ready, so... You, you talk about your dad being emotional. Your mum's yeah. like, she's gone! <laughs> Yay! Well, no, no, time. my mum's oh, not like that. No, really. um, but yeah, so that was really nice. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed the wedding. Okay. Just like being around everyone. We, we've got amazing like friends and family that was always around someone? us. Um, my dress was comfortable. So I just really felt like I was more present in the moment. I wasn't okay. really thinking about anything else that, or like my hair. My hair had opened cause it was like, it was like kind of waves and whatever. But I didn't even care. Usually I'm a person that would care. I would feel like, oh my guys, my hair's messed up, my makeup, this and that. But no, I just did not care. I was like, like people are here for us. I just had so much fun. So I think just have that expectation that it's not going to go great, like everything that you want, but it's just that whole experience is really trying well, to enjoy it. That's great advice though. Yeah, thank you. So you mean like be in the moment? Yeah, be in the be moment. Be in the moment be and present. enjoy your day. Yeah, my, I would give that advice to Mehmet as well, to be in the moment and enjoy the day. <laughs> I think he was, when he saw his friends, he was yeah, like... Yeah, when he saw, as soon as he saw his friends, he was like, yes, get the party yeah, going. <laughs> he probably saw his barber. That's yeah, probably what he happened. saw his barber, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to come back to that story, stay on there. Oh. All right, so how did you guys meet? Yeah, so like I said, I actually love when Mehmet says this story, but... Okay. Um, but so, the, the Mehmet's not here. Yeah, Mehmet's not here because I always get him to say, but we met at university, um, Queen Mary, and it was like the second week that we started. So we started in the same year, um, so first um, first year. And then um, I'm in the library just by myself, like there's a table like, and the f all, f all seats are empty, I was just by myself, just being like a loner basically. With my laptop, I was trying to connect to the, to the internet, it was like the first week we're trying to get ourselves organised. And then Mehmet came in with one of his friends, um, just randomly, just came and sat on the table. Well, I think it was random, I guess. I don't know, Mehmet. Yeah, Mehmet says it's random. Yeah, it's random. Um, he sat on the table. Wait, 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 wait. This is how he went. It was random. It was coincidence. <laughs> Yeah, so, I don't believe you, mate. Yeah, we don't know. Well, I don't know, whatever it was. But then he sat at the table with his friend and then um, I just I just noticed that he just like was trying to look at me, like just because he's sitting. So I'm sitting there and he's sitting there and like he's looking at me. I can see because I'm always I'm trying to do something on my laptop. He's looking at me. And then afterwards, he told me that he tried to see if I was wearing like an evil eye necklace to work out if I was Turkish, basically. Uh, so he's trying to work out if I'm Turkish, but he's not trying to like invade my privacy by like staring at me so much, being quite polite. Then he just took out his phone. He's just started calling all his friends. Talking Turkish. I found her. I found her. <laughs> I found her. No, we get She's to that the one, later. I found the one. No, we get to that later. But he just talk, talking to his friends, basically talking Turkish. Okay. To get my attention to see if, if I'm Turkish, am I going to look up to hear him speaking Turkish? So I did look up because he's talking Turkish, whatever. So I did, and then 
he got off the phone and then I was like, you know what? Like, I need help. Like, genuinely needed help. So I was like... Is he your tech guy? So... <laughs> is he your so, tech guy? So... If, when I tell the story, so it seems like I was the one that moved, but from my oh, point of view, okay. you it was very opened this to Mary. Oh, Mary had nothing to do. Honest, with it. the guy was just sat there on his phone. You're like, hey, excuse me, hey, oh, okay, we get it. So from my point of view, it was very innocent. I was okay. genuinely trying to get onto the Wi-Fi. So I asked him, I was like, excuse me, like, do you know how to connect this? He was like, oh, yeah, of course. And then he done it. Then once he done it, he just asking me questions like, oh, like, what's your name? Like, what are you studying? Where are you from? Did, did he do the whole? I think I know your mum. No, 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 he didn't do that. He didn't do that, but he had a different agenda. He just, he said to me like, where are you from? And I was like, well, I grew up in Hackney. Like that's where my area. Then because he's also from Hackney, he just started to list every single boy that he knows from Hackney saying, oh, do you know this guy, this guy, this guy? And I'm like, no, 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 no. Then in his head, he's basically trying to see that if he, if if I know any of his friends, basically. Okay. Seeing if I'm a good girl, essentially. Oh, That's what I think. He's checking it off. He's checking, yeah. So, I, like, I don't know this person, don't know that Have person. Have you dated any of my friends? That's, what, that's, what, yeah, that's yeah. what he's looking for. And my answer was no to everything. So I think I was like ticking a few boxes for him at that point. And then the phone came out. I found her, boys. <laughs> I found her. I got her, boys. So then we just like spoke just, just normal conversation. And as he was getting up to go to his lecture, because he had just been chilling there till his lecture, he just had his Instagram open saying, oh, like, can you give me your Instagram? And I was like, I just thought, like, why not? Like, I'm going to see this boy in school potentially anyways. We're in the same area. I was like, fine, I'll just give it. And I gave it in a Sydney and then walked out. And then now that like, this is actually, I don't well, remember could confirm if it is, but he tells people that on that day when he was walking out, he told his friend that was with him, mate, that's the girl that I'm going to marry. Oh, really? And yeah. He's nodding. Yeah, so he, that was true. And I believe him that he said that. Um, I said that to my wife. Oh, did the day you? I saw her, I was like, I'm going to marry. My first day, I was like, I'm going to marry you, if whether you like it or not. <laughs> so I think that's what he was thinking. So it's quite creepy, like, actually. Like, it's not that romantic. Like, what do you mean you're going to marry me? <laughs> listen, you got to look at it from the romantic side. You talk no, about it's romance. Quite creepy. It's romantic. When someone looks romantic. at you and goes, you're the one. And you're yeah. like, oh, that's creepy. This guy's going to follow me. You know when it's creepy? I've noticed this, right? Yeah. It's only creepy if you don't like the other person. Yeah, so... Because I've seen guys with my friends who are like super attractive and they'll yeah. say the dumbest things to yeah. the female when we were younger. We would go out and they would say the stupid stuff and the girl's like, oh my God, he's so intelligent. And mm. then you get somebody go over who just says a nice thing. Oh, hi, you look really nice. Yeah, like, go oh, away. Go away. Oh my God, <laughs> so <laughs> creepy. Ew. Yeah, so we met. Um, so for him, it seems like it was love at first sight, but it took me it took me a while to get there. So we How were, much time? We, we were friends for like a year basically like we would how did he win you over sorry when how did he win you over what, what happened for you to go i think it was his perseverance honestly he's got this characteristic he's Kaiser, mate. where he just does not give up so especially if he had that in his back of his head that he was going to marry me i think that was his end goal you know like he's working towards a goal so that kept him going so like we were friends for a year we'd be like chilling in like at university together like we're we'll hanging out as friends and whatever and then he will like open up to me sometimes, like saying, like, let's go on a date, just me and you. I would just say, like, uh, not really, kind of whatever. So kind of just like keeping it as friends. And then I remember I, I was at home um, and then my cousin was around and I was just telling my cousin, like, like, there's this guy at university, like, he seems like he's really into me. He's a really nice person. I just don't know, like, he, I don't know. And it's just like, I was like, I see him as a friend. And my cousin was like to me, well, then if you see him as a friend, because you only see him in a friend environment. She's like, just like, let him take you out. So like what? This so this cousin, thank you, Helen. So she was the one, like basically. You, <laughs> so she's the one that said, just like, allow him to take you out. Like, what's the worst that's going to happen? And I think when we went out, um, obviously really nervous. And then he planned a really cute date. So I really like cats. And then he took me to this cat cafe, right? It's called the cat cafe. Oh, we have them in London. Yeah. So it's just a cafe with cats all around, like, and you just pet them. I thought they were just them. in Japan. No. We have one here. Yeah, it's called Lady Something. Just check my Instagram. There's going to be a picture there. Yeah. At Mr. Choban. You're going to see it in the corner. So honestly, actually, you know when Mehmet was asking me for onto that date, he was like, don't even think of it as a date. He's like, just think of it as you're going to go see some cats, basically, because you like cats. So he's, he was really trying to win me over that way. So I think that's what I really like, the fact that he was so thoughtful. He's a really thoughtful person anyways. Um, so I think that's what really won me over. That went, and that first date was like, okay, you know what? I think that this can potentially go somewhere. Then from then on, like, we're just every day at university together. How was your proposal? Our proposal? Oh, my God. Mehmet is number one liar, basically. <laughs> 
he's just so great at lying. I don't know if that's a good thing. It worked in his favour for every time that he wants to surprise me, I would never, ever guess anything. But then it, in the long run, I'm always thinking... <laughs> I don't know thinking, where to go with that one. I don't know. It's a great liar. Um, in the long run, uh, I'm just thinking that that's going to cause us some problems, maybe. I don't know, but what? our proposal, um, again, really kind of well thought through. Um, what did he do? So he was... Um, he obviously coordinated with my best friend um, and... She, she she had just graduated from um, becoming a paramedic and she basically said to me that Ozzy, I've got a ball coming up for like a paramedic ball that we're going to do. University's organising it um, for our graduation and I kind of like assumed that's true because my sister had a ball before when she graduated so I was like okay that sounds like realistic. So she was like yeah like we need to go it's like in a couple of weeks time. She was like I just don't want to be by myself I don't really have that many like friends on my course they're all grown ups basically because it's paramedic. Um, so she was like, like just can you come with me just so I'm not by myself. And I was like, oh, like, do I really have to? And then she was like, oh, please, come on, Zainab. Like, I would do it for you, like, if you wanted me to come with you somewhere. I was like, okay, fine, fair enough, I'll come with you. And then the day's approaching, and then she's like to me, oh, like, you, you do need to kind of look nice. I was like, I was like, it's your ball, like, I'll just sit in the corner. She's like, no, you're not going to sit in the corner, like, you're not a creep, you're not going to sit on a chair in the corner watching me. So you're going to be interacting with people, so, like, just wear something nice. So, like, she just told me, like, yeah, go, just go buy a dress. So I went shopping just bought a dress if you see pictures like when people ask me um did you know about it i'm like if i knew about it would you think i would wear a zebra print dress to my proposal okay i'm gonna send you pictures so that's how you know that i was so out of the loop um so they're just telling me that yeah we're gonna go to the ball so i kind of so i got dressed and ready we're in the car like we're driving and just such a where was in essex that some hotel down downhall hotel maybe you've shot there before uh, so we're driving there with her and she's, I'm just like, oh, I really can't bother. I'm falling asleep, essentially. I'm wearing flip-flops. I'm, I'm not taking my flip-flops off. She says, yeah, you're, she's like to me, you're annoying me. Like, I'm bringing you somewhere. Like, stop being so irritating. So like, fine, I'll wear my heels. But I'm just keeping my hoodie on still. Like, cause I'm like, it's cold. I can't be bothered. I don't care. Anyways, that all happened. And at this time, all this time, Mehmet's like to me that he's at work late. He's even sending me pictures at work. Like, he's even called me saying, oh, babe, like, it's really busy today. Like, and I know that it's, he's wouldn't lie to me in that situation that is work whatever even the night before I sent a picture of myself to him and then he sent me a picture back he was hiding his haircut like just to make sure that I had no kind of clue that because why would why would he get a haircut like you know he would tell me if he's getting a haircut um so he didn't I didn't know anything I was so out the loop we got to the place and then as we're walking in I think Mehmet called her um or like messaged her or something but she had saved his name as like one of her friends name from the course so um so just literally so perfect and like he's asking her like have you guys arrived and she's just and then she even made me reply back to him thinking that i'm talking to the friend because because she's driving so i said oh can you just reply to so and so and just say that yeah we're parking up and that we'll be there soon can't wait to see her kiss 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 so that's literally what i'm writing to mehmet and then, so that's mehmet's cue that oh my god okay they're coming they're coming and then we go out of the car just walk in and then um turn the corner see Mehmet with like a bunch of roses and the first thing I was like what, what are you doing here like I didn't even put two and two together I was like what are you doing here and then then obviously I saw the photographer and what everything then saw the setup and then that was just yeah so that's how it ended so I just I was so out of the loop I even had orange nail varnish like who would paint their nails like my siblings I was so angry at them afterwards say oh, they knew that they knew yeah they were there so my sister and his sister were both there I was like, how did you guys not... How dare you? How dare you? How dare Zebra you? print dress and orange nails. I will never forgive them to the day I die, honestly. <laughs> the next one that's coming up that's going to get married. You know your sister's going to oh, get her own. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, so I'm just not going to... Um, but yeah, it was really nice. because I, I like the fact that I didn't know anything. It was just... It was in the moment. It was in the moment. And I just really like... You've been the in the moment a lot, have you? Noticed? Yeah, I've been in the moment quite a bit. I think I like that. Yes. Um, you, when, when you don't plan as much and you yeah. just let things happen. Just let things happen, yeah. Because you plan it at the start. Mm. That's why I keep saying the bride. I'm like... You, you you, you spent over a year planning this. Yeah. You think you panicking last minute is going to change anything. It's not no, going to change Just anything. try to enjoy it as you yeah, go along. That's, that them, yeah, exactly. Um, so then, yeah, so then we just had that um, moment and then went out for a nice dinner together. Like we've, we've invited like, our friends and family. So that just ended up being like one of the best nights ever. It was just really, really nice. That's amazing. Yeah, Remember, good honestly. job. He's, like I said, he's really thoughtful. Like He plans things through. Like He knows what he's doing. I've got to give it to him. So well done, Mehmet. All right. What was the parents meeting like did they did do parents already know each other or did how did that work um so my mum knew Mehmet beforehand um, and okay. i was telling my mum about things so then the first meeting was um 
me met me and my mum like in a like, coffee shop we went out together so that was really nice obviously and my mum it's like brides and coffee but with, yeah just with like, mother-in-law yeah, mother-in-law and coffee yeah mother-in-law and coffee so that was just very nice and that was very chilled and then um then we made our mums meet and then the bigger meeting obviously is meeting my dad so my dad didn't know about um like Meme up until like we had kind of like started to speaking about marriage and like moving forward with things I don't think like, people tell their dad straight away um, and it's I didn't and my dad um, he's quite intimidating as well so actually if I tell you the story of like me telling my dad that I've got a boyfriend that was like um, a very like scary experience so I told my mum that okay mum like, I think it's like time that we start telling my dad and whatever and I was like, okay, cool. And then she was like, okay, we'll, like, we'll do it today. She was like, I, I made his favourite food. We're going to have dinner together. He's going to be super happy. Mum knows how to keep dad <laughs> yeah. calm. She was like, Zainab, I have not stressed him out at all today. Like, I haven't said a bad word to him or whatever. He's in a good mood. We're going to do it today. I was like, okay, cool, like, whatever. The dad is worried that every oh, time she takes good, good care food. of him, she's like, something's about to come Something's up. Something's happening. Oh, it's my next How old is my daughter? How old is my daughter? <laughs> so we're having dinner and then... I kind of looked at my mum and I was like, oh, mum, I don't think I'm going to, like, say it. Like, I don't think I'm ready at that moment. And then we're just eating. I just had, like, food in my mouth. And then my mum is like, oh, um, Tarsin, it's my dad's name. Tarsin, Zainab's got something to tell you. And the food is literally in my mouth and I couldn't even swallow it. I was like, oh, my God. Are you? And then my, my dad's like, okay, like, what is it? And then I'm like, oh, my God, I'm, like, shaking. I don't know what to say because I'm quite intimidated by him. Then I was like, I was like, Dad, I've got a friend. No, no, I didn't even say it. My sister said it. She was like, Zeb's got a friend. And my dad's like, I know she's got a friend. She's got loads of friends. Like, what do you mean? Like, it's just not new. Oh, dad, dad is like the, your proposal. He didn't clock onto it. <laughs> no, no, he did. Like, he's taking the piss. Like, oh, saying, okay. Okay. like, you're talking about Ghost Day, for example. I know Ghost Day. That's yeah. what you're trying to say. And then my mum was like, no, it's not that type of friend. It's a special type of friend. And then like, he didn't even say anything. He just got up from the table. He just went out. He just went out the house. Like, um, he just left. Just left. Just walked out. And then I'm like at the table, I'm like, oh my God, like, what is happening? Where's this guy going? And we can't, we're too scared to even leave the dining room. We're like, where is he? Then five minutes go past, he just, he comes back to the living room. I think he just went out to smoke, like to calm himself, calm himself oh, down. Man. Came back into the room. He's like, okay, so who is this boy? I'm going to meet him. I was like, oh, I was like, okay, like his name is Mehmet, whatever. Um, I'm at university. He's like, where's he from? I'm like, he's from Kaisen, he's from Kulkasag. His face kind of dropped, but he didn't say anything. He was like, tell him I want to meet him, like, as soon as possible, whatever. And that was it. And we didn't even speak about it at all that night. That that was it. Had our dinner in silence, put the dishes away, went straight to bed. I'm like, shaking. But during that conversation... Mehmet, you're in trouble, Mehmet. Yeah. But saying that, then Mehmet met my dad. Obviously, he was very nervous when he was meeting him. Um, but my dad loved him. Like, my dad... Honestly, loves Mehmet so much. How can you hear your guy said the guy, man? Come on. Yeah, my dad that I'm from honestly me. loves Mehmet. Like, it's really good relationship. I'm so, so happy. That meeting was obviously very nice as well. Um, for me, it's like easier for me because I'm like, I know you, I know my dad. I don't really like, it's not new for me. But because I knew that Mehmet was obviously going to feel a bit anxious and stuff. But Mehmet done really well and to just just sat there, like, just saying yes to everything and listening yes, to the, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like, <laughs> Good boy. So that was really nice because I had my sisters there and because he knows like my sisters and my mum's now. So it was like they were able to make some jokes to make it a bit lighthearted and yeah, it just ended like being a really nice night. And uh, what was the asking your hand? Did you have the asking in hand in marriage? They, a lot of his family came and then we had it. Oh, our you house. guys came in like, like no, this, yeah, this is but happening. I really liked it. So they um, they all met up at their house and they all came in one go. And then, like, just come with flares and everything. Like, the boys, like, they were amazing. And you they, guys proper work yeah, for um, they, Yeah, we, we, did, we did everything. We did okay. every little event that you you want, you want needed, we done it because we were like, why not? Let's we're just do it. We're getting married. We're getting married. Let's go big or go home, like you were saying earlier. Um, go big or go home. Yeah, exactly. So that was our mindset as well. We done that. And then that was really nice. So they were all in our house. Um, again, like I said, when we were doing that, asking the hand in marriage, I was very emotional again when they were cutting the ribbon, bringing the coffee. Like, it was just all like those little moments. We did everything. So, um, really emotional. Mehmet burnt his tongue with the coffee. <laughs> I didn't put no salt or anything in it. I just put oh, extra didn't. I just put extra sugar to make it more sugary. But the mistake I made was that it was too hot. But no one told Mehmet to drink it in one go. In his head, he thought I have to drink it. Why do me- I don't know. Is this a common they, thing? They do. But in most cases, they do say, oh, you have to drink it in one go. No, but like, I don't my know. One, my one went in and came out. 
Is it? Mine had pepper in it. As oh, in okay. I, I I just couldn't do you that. You made her coffee. Like my one, my missus, they didn't let her. Somebody else. Made oh, coffee. yeah. I didn't make mine. I didn't make my mum's one either. Really? There's just so many people in there, and then I'm wearing a white dress, and they're like, "Oh, this is prone to accidents." Like, then we'll just do it for you. You take your pictures, and I was like, "Okay, mm. cool. I don't really, I don't mind." Um, but I was just like, "Listen, like whoever's making it, do not put anything in it because my like got a sense of the stomach, and I don't want him to like feel sick or whatever." So that's how he got out of it. No, but so he the does. other groom the other day. He's a good liar, oh, so maybe. My tummy's really bad. Oh, the bride's like, oh no, I can't put anything. Oh, he's got a sensitive stomach. I was like, what? Um, but I believe far. that. It's true. He's a liar he if he's got it this far. It's true. Um, so yeah, we, we did that. Um, yeah, the world. Would you recommend it to somebody? Yeah. Like, would you recommend doing, doing the that? Whole... The whole hand because and because oh, some, God, some, yeah. some, some, some brides I speak to, they certain parts where they don't want to put too much of the cultural stuff into their oh, wedding. Oh, I love it. doesn't matter culture what culture stuff. it is, like whether it's an Asian wedding or uh, it's an Arabic wedding. Mm, they don't put too much of their culture into it. Would for you... me, I love it. Okay. Like, this this is who we are. Like, I don't, I, that, there's no point of like trying to run away from it or like trying not to incorporate it. I guess that like, there's so much to do that you can kind of like pick and like pick and mix what you're going to do. But I just wanted to do everything. Like, it's just... Okay. I don't know. I really like it. I think you should do it. Why not? Like, it's fun. It's like a, it's another event. Like Another party. <laughs> it's another party. And then we did an after party. Um, after the Istema. Yeah, after this, all like the young I think you might have started now. this, isn't it? This is what you guys have started. This like after Istema, now there's just a, there's just a rave. Yeah. It's a full on rave afterwards. So that was really nice. We did that. So literally my cousin, um, after this whole wedding season was like, oh, my stuff was over. She's like, Zainab, I'm actually bored. Like there's nothing to do anymore. Because f- with our wedding crisis, there was always something to look forward to. You had like the... Um, the hand proposal, then the after party, then you had the bachelorette party, then you had this and that, and after the wedding, it's just like done. Like there's nothing else. Finished. It's finished. Real My life. life is boring. It's boring <laughs> life. Real life. Welcome. Real life just slaps you. Yeah. Um, so I think just do it if you can do it. Why not? Okay. Like, yeah. Did you guys go away like for a honeymoon? Yeah, we did. Um, we went to uh, Thailand. Thailand. A week, yeah, a week after our wedding went. So I was back at work like, on Monday. I was back at work, walking down the corridors, all the kids like clapping at me because that they watched the wedding live, all my students. Really? So if my students are watching this, because they said they are, because um, you know, there was a live stream of the wedding. On Monday morning, I went into work like thinking that like, that the kids are going to ask me because they knew about the wedding coming up. But as soon as I walked in, they're like, they're clapping and cheering, they're like, miss, like we saw you, we watched your wedding. They were commenting really? on the live stream apparently, saying, oh my God, that's my teacher, that's my psychology teacher, like. <laughs> Really? So yeah, I was like, I was very popular in school, like because of the wedding. So thank you for the so, life. So the kids, so the kids have a party as well for the yeah, like they were all yeah. So it was really fun for them. So then yeah, work like for a week, um, like being married it was weird as well, like moving so far from my workplace and then just balancing that. Then we really needed that break. So then that would come Easter, we went away to Thailand. Um, really, really nice. We we're there for like ten days. Oh, what did you do? Um, then a lot, lot of things. Um. Just like the beach, chilling. Went Look to at me, islands. I don't know what you did on your honeymoon. Like, no, we did a lot of things. I told you before. I don't know. I, was trying, I told you before that I have really bad memories. So I have to think about it a little bit. We Just have... go back there and then you arrived in the airport. Actually, did you, did you, you guys didn't go, like you said, you didn't, some people go straight away. No, we didn't go straight away. How many bags did you take? Uh, it was one suitcase for me, one for When you say suitcase, how big is this suitcase? Yeah, you know, like... Big is it a double suitcase? Right? Yeah, like a big, big one. Big suitcase, yeah. Okay. We had two big suitcases and then maybe just like a little carry on. I don't know why we had the carry on. What, what was it even in there? We did it. Maybe we did it. Maybe just two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it was a big suitcase because I just wanted it to be spread out. Like, I didn't want to over like cram stuff in. Is Thailand what I think it's like? What, what side of Thailand are you asking about? Because which lots... side did you go to? Because there's lots of sides of Thailand. You could, which side you did could you do listen? The romantic, it's you not could do my the party honeymoon. Lifestyle. This was your honeymoon. We did a bit of both. Let's put it that okay. way. So we did see like the beautiful beaches and the islands and like all that. The did you did a little. Did, what's it called? The little uh, yacht, little boat, and then you go Break- between. Oh. Yeah, there's a little boat. Uh, what do you what do you call those boats? Yeah. Kayaking. Yeah. Did you do the kayaking no. where you got a little boat and you two no, go? No. Go, oh, no, I no, I remember would never do that. I just get so bored. Uh, we didn't, you didn't have the Instagram moment. Come on. No, we didn't have that many Instagram moments. Um, so we had like the romantic side of it. And obviously, we did go out to the famous strip where all the nightclubs are, all the bars, and all the and in the <laughs> weird bag. stuff Woo! going on. Yeah. <laughs> all the stuff, the sites that you see. Oh, so you went to Bangkok as well? Yes. yes. Oh, no, no, oh, we didn't go to Bangkok. No. Bang the road. 
Banglo Road. So we went to the, the, the famous strip in Thailand, Phuket. So we went to Phuket. So okay. the, the, that's the area where the nightlife is at. So then we did see that side of it as well. Lots of stuff going on there. Um, <laughs> that's a different show. That's a different this is, show. This is not this show. Go and watch that's Vice or something like that's, that. That's a different show, yeah. But um, yeah, we did kind of see like some elements of that. Okay. Um, it was fun. I don't regret anything. It was really, really fun. Would you have got, if you could go back to your honeymoon, mm -hmm. would you go back to, to Thailand? Yeah, we would. I remember was literally saying it today that like he would go there in a heartbeat. Like, we actually genuinely had so much fun. We really enjoyed ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like people were scaring us beforehand saying, oh, you're going to come back hungry. You're going to like Thailand. There's no I food. I guess they don't like Thai food. But there wasn't only just Thai food that like, we yeah. had Thai food, but we like there was so much more to eat. I don't know why people were hungry. Like I don't I don't get it. Probably their mate went out there and didn't like it. Yeah, like, so you know how people are sometimes. But we we loved it there. But our original plan wasn't to go to Thailand. We were gonna go to Bali. So we booked our like the whole package, whatever. And then like I think how how much before the wedding before. Come on. A month before the wedding, remember it was like, you know what, let's like, let me organise the shuttle bus, like whatever. He called the company and the company's like, oh, like, you need to get a, a pass. What was it? Your COVID pass. No, you need to um, book that? our COVID package. Oh, you have to book the COVID package. So they sent us the link. We're like, oh, like, they haven't even told us to do this. Like, it was only a month. Like, we had to go and find out coincidentally about it. So then we, like, opened the package up. We were trying to do it. There's just so many, like, questions on there that we were like, what the hell was this question asking us to do? Okay. And then it was like, okay, you know what? Like, this is confusing. Let me consult an agency. Let them help it out. And the woman was literally like, listen, mate, like, I'm telling you, honestly, not worth going to Bali to, like, she's like, I can't even fill out this form. It's all, like, just way too confusing and like time con consuming it's not worth it all that stress she's like better off just going to thailand you get the same kind of like, kind of thing that you're looking yeah. for so she's just go there so that's what we did but that was literally like so last minute that if we if Mehmet hadn't reached out to, to the shuttle bus we would have known about we wouldn't have known about the covid package and you would have missed out on your and holiday. then we would have missed out on our honeymoon so do check these things that's my other advice when you have these things booked in advance double check like everything that you've booked just make sure they have written it down and that it is going ahead, like stuff go wrong. Um, but yeah, so then we went to Thailand, but, and even like our Thailand honeymoon, we booked it. Remember booked himself, right? You, you... No, no, I went with the agent. Oh, so that lady helped us out afterwards with that. Um, but um, we had to wait for like a confirmation email to say that like you've got your pass, your Thai pass it was called. And like we're still waiting, waiting, like there's literally like 24 hours left to our, like we're going to go on our honeymoon. 12 hours before like our flight, we got the we got finally got the pass that like, both me and my mother like cheering, screaming on the floor. That'd be an expensive non-trip, wouldn't it? Like honestly, yeah, yeah, they they weren't going to refund us either because even the Bali honeymoon didn't refund us properly, even though really? we had to cancel because of um, because of like them essentially, we didn't get our full amount of money from that. So this would have been like the worst thing, literally, because our bags are packed. I was like, I have to pack it. Twelve hours before we got the pass. Uh, shuttle Paris, here we come. <laughs> yeah honestly so yeah that was stressful but then it was worth it because it was just okay. so beautiful honestly you're now married yes to this handsome fellow here yes <laughs> is marriage what you thought it would be yeah i think i think it is i think it's actually more than i thought it would okay, be what did you think um, it would be and why is it more um, because I just don't know, because talking to people like that are married and whatever, they're like, oh, like, don't get your expectations up. Like, husbands are not that great. Like, they don't do this. They don't do that. They're like this they're and that. They're not are they? But they're not memet. That was, that's the thing that they don't have that I have. Um, but for me, it's just like, it's like living with my best friend, essentially. That's, that's how I, that's how we kind of look at it, both of us. Um, like we give each other space when we need it. Like bearing in mind, we've got a, a PlayStation, house. she didn't moan. No, I didn't moan at all. And he, he bought that like five days into our marriage. He actually asked me, babe, can I buy a PlayStation? <laughs> I was like, go for it. Why not? Like, that's, that's, that's what you like. I like things that you're not going to say no to. So we give each other the space, but then, then we do come together, which I think is, which I think is what is missing. Um, that like sometimes with other people, I guess. Um, so having that balance, that was really good for us. And yeah, we're just we're just like mates. It's like just living with your best friend, just like every day. It's just literally, what more could I have wanted? <laughs> and no, he did not tell me to say these things before. <laughs> what is he buying you? What what is he getting you for these beautiful no, words? No, nothing, nothing. Um, okay, don't throw him under a bus. Yeah, go as on. I've said multiple times. Yeah. What's one thing that you that drives you crazy about him that he does? It's nothing that he does because of like his own will, like he wants to do this. He's just a hairy person. <laughs> and I think that is the only thing that drives me nuts. Um, so him being hairy? Just him being hairy. 
That's it. Um, just like hair on the floor. Oh, you mean like he, he... Oh, Oh, not like, like physically. I, mean, I don't I mind. Like I don't he, care. He's a hairy guy. Like he's a hairy okay. guy and the hair falls. Like, be hairy and it lets stay on your body. That's absolutely fine. Okay. But the hair is on your body but it keeps falling. So okay. that's, that's where the problem starts. <laughs> and I'm quite... It's like he's causing me cleaning problems. He's causing me like just... Um, yeah, that's the only thing. Just hair around the house, just like little hairs. Um, but apart from that, there's literally nothing that I could be like, Mehmet does this and I hate that he does that. Okay. This is not something that even he even does. Like, he, he doesn't even like that he does this. Like, he this just exists and hair He just exists. Him. Like, that's that's the problem. <laughs> Mehmet just exists. You know what? We're going to trim this bit and I'm just going to put the, the thing that about him that I hate is that he just exists. <laughs> oh, that's an Instagram video right there. Yeah, that would get a lot of views. That's, that's an Instagram. <laughs> if you've come here because of that video, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> but honestly, um, that's literally the only thing. And what's one thing that he you love more about him now? More about him? The fact that he's just so thoughtful. Like, I knew that he was so thoughtful beforehand, but now like, he just shows me every day that he's even more like, just, just really thoughtful, like just really caring. Um, literally, I was ill like, a couple of days ago and like he set up like a day bed over here f for me here. Like water there, my tissues there, medication by my, I by my head. I might need to get me a memet. Yeah, everyone should get themselves <laughs> a memet. <laughs> everyone needs a memet. <laughs> everyone needs a memet in their life. And then genuinely, he's just like really, really, really he's probably more thoughtful than I am. Like, I'm, 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 I could be rude sometimes and like when I'm like angry, but even when he's angry, he tries to like make sure that... He seems quite mellow. Yeah. He's quite a mellow guy. He's acting like that now. He does, he does have his highs as well. Um, but <laughs> all in all, like everything... The whole overall think, package though. Overall, yeah. you've got to look for the overall. I'm a quite a positive person. You look at the overall picture. Yeah. It's Glass really, half full. Yeah. Um, it's really fun living with him and we just like we work together as a team like we help each other out and we don't expect things from each other we talk to each other and like that is that's really really important and what do you think for somebody who's thinking about getting married mm -hmm. you said earlier when you were looking at somebody getting when they were doing their first dance mm -hmm. it looked so romantic and stuff mm -hmm. and you saw what it was actually like yeah so for somebody who's looking at a marriage yeah and they're getting these mixed messages someone saying oh my god uh, it's crazy, don't expect this. And somebody else is saying, in your case, saying to somebody, wow, it's actually amazing. Yeah. What would you say, Would what advice would you give to them to make sure that they end up... End up like, life, end up end like, up like, like me, you. basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just talk with your partner. Okay. So I think, I'm sure you can probably agree as well, and uh, Mama Tabi, like everyone that has a female partner in their life, females, we do get a little bit annoying. I'm going to say we're not the easiest, like, agenda to live with, and you're all shaking your heads now, I can see. <laughs> we're not easy to live with, and, and, I, and I think that's where the problem happens, because when females in our head, like, we think about it in our heads and sometimes what happens is we just don't say it like we we just it comes out different it comes out different or we just expect that you're going to understand exactly what we're thinking but we're not actually saying what we're thinking like we're I'll not saying a conversation yet. I had with my wife. okay so i'm cooking mm -hmm. she's happy that i'm cooking mm -hmm. but instead of saying oh if you're finished with this stuff could you just put it away mm -hmm. while i'm cooking she went why is it that whenever you cook this place is always messy that's probably what I would say. Okay, I'm like, does that make me want to cook? Yeah. It no, it doesn't. It just pisses me off. I yeah. go, so wouldn't it be better if you just said, oh, are you finished with this? Like, can, the stuff you're finished with, can you just put it away? Yeah, that's that's literally what I'm trying to say. Literally just like that community. It comes out different. Just comes out different because you think about it in your head. You're thinking, you're thinking. And then when you finally say it, it just comes out way like worse than you could have originally said it before. So just if you've got like a problem, something's bugging you, like he's doing something that you don't like, just say like I don't like that you do this. Like let's change that. You can tell me something that I don't. You don't like that I do. Let's change that. Let's like we see each other as a team. Some of the people see like a competition. You're not a competition with each other. You're not competing. Like you're on the same team. That's why just communicate with each other. That's literally what I would say. Thank you very much. Yeah. I enjoyed the conversation. Yeah, so did I. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Well, guys, I hope you got something out of that. Zainab has shared so many great points. The important thing to remember that she said earlier is that look. It's not a competition between you and your partner. You are a team now. Life, although it seems like a single player game, you come here alone, you leave alone. But here, you've joined two lives and it's not a competition. You're together. You're a team. There'll be points about your partner that you may dislike. That, in fact, the fact that in his case, she said he's a great liar. But she means it in a great way, yeah. right? Because it turned out great for her. There'll be certain points during the journey which you feel like you have no control over. But 
as Zainab said earlier, those are the parts she actually found out that she really enjoyed mm. because she was starting to just unwind and just enjoy her day and be in the moment. And being in the moment, being present, if you speak to anybody who talks about spirituality or any kind of mm. thing, they'll always say, get into your body, be in the moment because that's where you are yourself. I hope you really enjoyed this episode. Like, subscribe, share it with somebody you think will enjoy it because one, she's given great advice. Two, there's so much more that's coming in the future. Have you joined our mailing list? There's great stories from our brides, stuff that they recommend that we're sending out now. It's in the description down below and make sure that you come and join us another time. Bye for now.